What's, What's good, y'all? It's the Machettes reacting real back, back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down. Hit that subscribe button. And turn on the post notification bell. Because we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Well, there's no doubt about it. Papua New Guinea is one of the most out there places on Earth. Last week, we started an expedition along PNG's remote east coast. And tonight, our adventure continues. Well, part two of our journey was always going to see the adventure ramped up a notch or two. But who would have thought we'd kick it off with an active volcano erupting at dusk? Oh. That is absolutely one of the most spectacular things I've ever okay. witnessed. And I've got to tell you, the journey is just going to get more exciting day by day. Exploring this country by ship allows you right. access to places you've never dreamt of. We're travelling with Aurora Expeditions on their 13-day Lost in Paradise tour. This morning, we're heading up the Seepik River to a village called Watam. Seepik is one of the truly great rivers of the world. It snakes its way 1,126 kilometres from the mountains right down to the sea and it is the closest thing Papua New Guinea has to a superhighway. So not surprisingly, it's pretty busy here and I think we may have arrived on market day. Oh, market day. beautiful people of Watam have put on quite a show for us with their dragon dance, their art and the Papua New Guinea anthem performed by the kids. The anthem, they were singing the anthem. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, so a dragon dance, that's new. We haven't seen, have we seen a dance from them before? I don't think so. I don't know. But I wanted to know if it had any relation to the dragon dances that we see in Asian communities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because how they was moving, it, the, it made me think of that. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I okay. feel that. Yeah. Y'all know we still new to Papua New Guinea um, history and things like that. So let us know. Send now, us some videos. Also seeing the lady, instead of her holding, you know, food products, anything on her head, she had a wrap. Yeah, and then the wrap went down. as It was a bow on her head and the wrap went down like a book sack. And it looked heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. The strength. Oh, here it is. Right, yeah. true. Once we, so you're yeah. just going to go Once we get into the coastline. with yeah. the binoculars. Hey, there's one. Yes. <laughs> is Aurora ever? No, so no. To this no, this is the first time. First time. Wow. Yeah. That's Very amazing, exciting. isn't it? Yeah. So it's exciting Wonderful. for everybody. Exciting. The Admiralty are a group of... I mean, yeah, it must be shocking for the people. Right. To see a huge boat coming. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that he said that's their first time. Yeah, okay, let's get lost. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and ride around. And then the most exciting part is to get lost into the location. Right. Like, yeah, I, we did some lost adventures and we didn't uh, like it. Nah. Yeah. But that would be shocking, though, for the people to see a boat coming and then they hop off and the exchange of love and happiness right. is supposed to be expected, you know? Right, because somebody come knocking my door unexpected. unexpected. Baby, you ain't it's coming little, in. Yeah, who is that? Let me check my ring camera because how you get here? <laughs> Who sent you? Who sent you? 18 islands in the Bismarck Archipelago, way off the beaten track. The morning brings with it a sign the day is going to be a good one. Uh, fascinating for us, yeah. A little bit of adventure, especially from New York. <laughs> so where are we? So this is Sour Island here. Sawa. And it looks like there's a village around this point. Yeah, I can see oh, the roof over there. there. You can see the hill. Oh, yeah, the house is in there. Oh. We have made first contact. A man and his family have come to meet us in their canoe. Oh, that's cool. His name is Robert, and he's the boss man of the village. He saw you saw Yeah. Three. Nearly here. Morning. Morning. 
Morning, True. My name's Sorrel. Julie. Julie. Nice yes. to meet you, Julie. And your name? Wendy. Wendy. Yes. Julie, Wendy. <laughs> and your name? Yeah. What name belong you? Esther. Esther. <laughs> Esther. Nice to meet you. Basically, it's an extended family that lives in this tiny little hamlet. And, oh, my God, they have picked the most beautiful spot in the world to put their houses. It's just stunning. So, Wendy, whose house is this one? Yeah. Esther's? Yeah. This is your one? Mm. Your house? Yes. Okay. Gary has negotiated with Robert for everyone on the ship to come ashore and meet his family. And it's an absolute <laughs> highlight of the trip. Hello. 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 I'm Judy. Hello. And you're Wendy. Wendy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming us. Is it what you were expecting? That's All so my funny. expectations are, are there. It's just... Y'all are really friendly. No, 100%. 100%. Y'all really is. Because I, I just couldn't imagine somebody just popping up at my house unexpected. But here is the truth behind <laughs> this. Had it been kids, when okay. kids see each other for the first time, they naturally get into this little group yeah. and they all of a sudden start talking and laughing and having fun and playing mm -hmm. together. Adults don't do that. Mm -mm. Here, like Babe was saying, people mm -hmm. come to unexpected. We're trying to see why you're here, who's touching you, is there any help that you may need or something. Yeah, you won't. Um, but they're giving <laughs> mad, genuine, yeah, they are. mad transparency. Uh, the love is there, the happiness is there. Mm -hmm. I like to see it. I like I to see that. I like to see it too. I'm just saying, me, I, what if I wanted to take a nap? <laughs> Y'all It's enough. Home. She yeah. said they did come on food day, market day. Oh, oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So who knows what's going on today? After the second day, I said I've been to paradise and I'm very happy. Oh. <laughs> Robert invited me into the man house. He said it's okay for me to be in here, but traditionally, this is where men have meetings, talk about fishing and hunting, or in our case, as we're discussing, how few visitors they get here. Mm -hmm. How often do ships come in here? Two times. Two times? Yes. Yes. Two times. Okay. Yeah. So this is only the second time yeah. you've seen yes. people coming second in? Time coming. <gasps> Ever? Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> That's just incredible. I also wanted to know about bride price. In <laughs> PNG, it's an accepted custom. It's what a man like Edward must give when he wants to marry a girl. So what is the bride price here? Three pigs. Three pigs? Uh, plus money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Twelve thousand, ten thousand. <gasps> No way. Mm, and a turtle. Yeah. So how are you going to make that money? Islam. Islam. Cucumber. Si cucumber. Si cucumber. Yeah, vegetable. Yeah, yeah. Si cucumber. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Somehow I convinced the boys to take me fishing to find one of these very valuable slugs. That's why the money is right there. That's why the money is right there. Easy. Mm-hmm. Look at these, these are with a fortune on the market. How much kina each piece, this one? 200 kina. 200 kina, that's it. Kilo. So that's yeah. 200 kina, that's $100 Australian. Wow. This is serious this business. This is the expensive pieces in Papua New Guinea. Oh, that's so spectacular down there. Tell you what, you think the land is beautiful around here? Well, it's just as gorgeous down below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop it! You guys are nuts! Well, was that a squid or octopus? I don't know. It looked like octopus shooting tank or something. Well, it's not often I'm lost for words at the end of the trip, but right now I am feeling completely overwhelmed. The people are just so wonderful and so generous. Everything about them will just fill you with joy from one moment to the next. This adventure has been truly extraordinary. Wow, that's a lot of bubbles. <laughs> Aurora Expeditions has a 13-day Papua New Guinea cruise to Yeah, we're going to stop right there. So I know that they say they only had two boats that passed within a time frame, but that was some years ago. Yeah. How have it been now? Has there been more people that come to visit? Mm -hmm. I'd like to know that. Well, it seems like a secluded island, you know, so... I don't know. Let us know being, where y'all are from. Huh? But being that she's traveled there, mm -hmm. information travels too. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So. And this is an older video. Exactly. I don't know. But let us know what part of Papua New Guinea you live in or mm -hmm. you're from. Let us know if you live in the city part or if you live in one of these islands. Let us know. Definitely, definitely. All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.